it gives me great pleasure to uh, wish you all welcome to this very special event in the old festive hall of the University of Oslo. And on days on this, I'm particularly proud to be rector of this university. It's my pleasure today to uh, introduce to you Professor Charlie Arnsen. As uh, his name betrays, he has quite a lot of Scandinavian, I would say even Norwegian genes. And 100%. When, when I asked you specifically, you said that 100% of your yes, genes uh, yeah. were Norwegian. And uh, what you also told me is that before Christmas, you prepare by making lutefisk and lefse. Oh, yes. So um, <laughs> this just adds to uh, the ex excitement <laughs> of having you here, that uh, not only do you have a dedication and uh, an insight when it comes to this uh, ep epitome that we are going to discuss today, but on top of it all, you have Norwegian genes. <laughs> I should tell you, Charlie, you specifically asked me to uh, use your name, your first name, Charlie. I should tell you that uh, this very hall was where the members of parliament met before the parliament building was completed in 1866. So between 1852 and 1866, deliberations on the top political issues of this country were held here. And also I should tell you that not long time ago, we had another distinguished <laughs> visitor here, Bill Gates, and uh, he was extremely interested in the fact that again in this very hall, a very famous experiment was done, namely the first experiment that paved the way for methods as to how to fix nitrogen from the air. So the um, ideas underlying the development of artificial fertilizers was made here. A truly global event, something that changed change the way agriculture is being conducted, and I'm sure that your tobacco plant even has seen artificial fertilizers. So what's the connection? Well, what, you're going to, what we're going to discuss today is another major global challenge. And of course, it relates to what is in all media in Norway and worldwide, this uh, epidemic that is uh, now taking a toll, enormous toll, on the population in uh, Western Africa. So, the, um, your visit today has a sinister, and I would say sad, backdrop. And um, there are some figures that I would like to convey to you that uh, tell you about the scale of uh, this disaster that we are in the midst of. In the course of the two hours that we're going to spend here in this hall, there will be at least 10 new people that will be recorded as infected with the virus only in Sierra Leone. The numbers of infected persons is doubling every two weeks. And the last estimate from WHO, the one that you just told me about, says that presumably there will be at least 1.5 million infected during the course of this particular epidemic. So we are talking about a disaster of a substantial, I would say, scale. And in the wake of the virus, there is despair. As you know, orphans are left alone as they appear to be bearers of the virus. And I would say this is all about human suffering and the enormous toll that this virus takes on uh, the society when it comes to social and also, of course, economic costs. There is another aspect to this that I would like to convey to you, and that is that uh, you will all remember that the American doctor, Kent Brantley, was, um, yes, he was cured from Ebola. But uh, what perhaps is not clear to everybody here is that um, he survived because he was treated in a top modern hospital facility in the United States. So this reminds us 
of something that is extremely important, the uh, inequality when it comes to health services worldwide. There is an unjust distribution of health and health services. And I'm so proud that uh, the speaker of today, Charlie Arnson, on multiple occasions has voiced this concern that there is an unjust distribution of health. And I think it's fair to say that one of the aims of your research is to provide this vaccine and other vaccines as well to all parts of the world, regardless of the resource availability. I would say at the end that um, this lecture is a result of a close cooperation between the University of Oslo, but of course the Norwegian Biotechnology Advisory Board. We're very happy to have Cecil here and uh, also the chairman of the board or the chair of the board. And um, Realist for Endingen has uh, taken part in this and the student organization which is the student organization for all the students at the Faculty of Mathematics and nat Natural Sciences. And also the Science Library is re represented here today. So with these words, I will give the floor to you, Professor Charles, Charlie Anson. We are thrilled to have you here. The backdrop is sinister, but uh, I'm absolutely sure that uh, you will give us a very, very interesting lecture in the minutes to come. So the floor is yours. <laughs>